Welcome to my DMs podcast. It's another episode once again. Uh, it's the landlord of Brampton, as you know. Um, the particle sign. Basically, the reason why I'm saying that, this is basically my first debut for 2023. Sure. And we got a special guest in the building. A special one. Platinum selling artist, sure. fashion designer. Sure. What else? What else? Let's call it. producer, arranger. You Qualified be st- graphic designer. Qualified graphic designer yes. as well. Obrigad. Welcome to the building, sir. How is I'm it? I'm on first. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. I think you introduce us. Sanbonani, I come along with the corners in your balloon for no salashing along with the Kabai issue. My Kaspuza getting Kanyan Pokola, and Gosses, the Bino and Abyss on a Kaman Puma Lens and Solon Domashi, Uncle Mizillo to Lopen and Sanjana Makichi Mikazi Kichimutsu. Issue, 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 issue. I, we already on that Zulu pocket already. Let's go, let's go. You know, uh, speaking of that, let's start the event. Mm. Uh, I feel like a lot of KZN artists yeah. are culturally inclined when it comes to like music, sonics. To the yeah. fashion and everything else but i want to understand because you saying you're a rapper as well and i've never had like a full-length rap song yeah. from open i want to i want you to tell me culturally how do you meet hip-hop from isizulu to hip-hop and just merging both cultures and making it work well for me cultures who i am that i don't need to act like I'm part of the culture. I don't need to rock up urban hood just to look like I'm part of the culture. I am Zulu. Mm-hmm. I understand. So it's just that influence. Well, one of the things that influenced me a lot is hip hop. You mm-hmm. understand? Growing up, and then I got, I got introduced to this thing called hip hop. You understand? Mm-hmm. I started as a dancer and dance hip hop and then evolved to started ra- studying rapping and like that cool foot to look on all the way actually mm-hmm. it made me say you know what can I swear here yeah sure it's a podcast yeah, yeah. my nigga we're on the net we're on the net we're on the net you know but I was saying Joyce and Joseph for my lack of cool I understand so I was like fuck everything let me just try this rap thing cause it I felt I felt I really felt like it spoke to me you understand mm-hmm yeah, yeah on, on on top of the same conversation when did you like convert from rap to start that sound that you push? i stopped rapping to be honest with you i really stopped rapping i used to rap i think started rapping in 2008 mm-hmm. 2009 2010 2010 i was doing my metric don't calculate how old i am i'm old yes so it's around 93 guys yeah <laughs> so then, <laughs> but let's go so, yeah. so and then it was like you know what I, let me just focus because one of my university is coming so this, this thing of rapping Nako, and I'm rapping about girls I'm rapping about money I'm rapping about nothing that I, I like I don't relate to those <laughs> things at all especially at where all. I come from mm-hmm. when you try to piece it together it doesn't make sense mm-hmm. you understand I was like ah, this is just bullshit let me just leave it I'll never make it as that because nobody was doing that on that caliber. You understand? Because mm-hmm. Tina influenced it as much as Bayeko and I'm a, I'm a rapper from South Africa, but we didn't look up to them. They weren't making as much money as they are now. Besides, they don't really nice with the raps. Okay, maybe to, Proverb and To Me was around then, but only two guys. Don't Quite lie fair. to me and, told and tell me that you are listening to Proverb when you, when you are young. Um, I was very, I was 20, very young 20, around 2010, then. Proverb. 2010 proverb. Really? I, was, I was younger than that. 2010, it was big Nas. It was big. Proverb was nowhere to be found. 2010. Okay, we can argue because he's around 2007. Yes, he wasn't. He wasn't popping. I think he was popping. There was this guy calling Gomaisha Behamba. I think it was a Volvo car, and there was a. That was the last song I heard from a Proverb. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can say Prokid, not Proverb. Prokid, 2010, Prokid was. Thank you, son, Prokid. I mean, it's different because one it's is rapping in eras, Vanek, but one is in Vanek because he has but more reach than one is yeah, But it is different in eras, you understand? Mm-hmm. But for me, I, I didn't relate at all. Mm-hmm. Instead of that, I related to the outside music, you understand? Because at home, I was just listening to Maskandi and uh, Afropop, Ropi Malinga. Mm-hmm. That was the music that I was exposed to because of where I come from. But when I drew influence i drew it from the outside because i was like actually this talks to me mm-hmm. more than anything and this speaks to me more than anything so i feel like 
that like it's like a young introduction to who Aubrey is mm-hmm. growing up in Maskandi and Mpakanga then later finding hip hop mm. as a getaway yeah yeah speak that's why I look the way I look today yeah I was going to get into that cuz speaking about fashion sense or aesthetics because obviously we see when i was first introduced to your music was yeah. umolo yeah. and obviously there you're rocking the part yeah. uh and now you know what i mean mm. um and mm. right now you're rocking the more hip hopish way and also i've been seeing you quite a lot because i work I'm here getting, around i'm getting more comfortable with like because you know it's very hard especially when you do the type of music that we do people expect you to be this guy Yeah, Ushaimba da then rock up in Zulu way every as day. As much as I'm dead and I came in as dead, but come on. Yeah, <laughs> come on. It's 2023, my nigga. Come on, you got to look some look got to look, look fly. Try. You got to you got to look fly and I'm more comfortable in this. This is not a, an an outfit for me. This is just me. Doesn't explain who you are. It, it, this this is me. When you talk about Aubrey, this is but what comes out of here when I sing is where I come from. Yes, mm. That's what I represent. Sure. But this this is who I am. This is how I look on a daily basis. Ang mm. Swenkila didn't even cut my hair. I'm not trying <laughs> to lose nice. eyes. This is just me. Speak, speaking of that cuz obviously you say you're also a designer which means yeah. uh, you sort of express yourself in clothing yeah. as well let's talk about that like when do you meet this because i know you started making music you get into graphic design in varsity when do you meet the fashion way fashion i actually got introduced to it in varsity mm-hmm. so when like because i think when i was doing matric i used to have like a young sketchbook mm-hmm. of designs but my designs were too extra and it's something that i know for a fact to see manga to i ask you to rock you would never rock that thing bro because it's too extra and i used to love this i think in this tv there was this there was this trend is called e uh channel fashion tv oh yeah I they used to, used to a lot of, do a lot of runway you, yeah. i understand i used to watch a lot of and it used to intrigue it was like these people turn out into clothes mm-hmm. so that's when my love for designing started I was like okay clean and what triggered it uh, 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 what triggered that is that I couldn't afford to have those pieces to have those pieces so I used to outside the things that I have mm-hmm. try as much as I could kill it try to make it look nice again because you can't afford to buy new ones mm-hmm. you understand that's how it grew to become this thing so did did that work when you were in high school because obviously you can tell when you're altering clothes that have really been around and also when you rocking some new designer stuff yeah. were you one of the cool kids in school like with the drip or I, I, me in school as much as i couldn't afford mm-hmm. nobody thought i couldn't afford you understand uh-huh. nobody thought i couldn't afford because even even my school uniform papa you see the normal gray yeah it used to have a zip here Yeah. Okay. You used to sure. have a zip here by the pockets and you change the way that you button it so it had this thing. The designer we way. made it look nice. <laughs> you understand? Before uh-huh. skinny jeans were skinny jeans, we were rocking grey skinny jeans, Papa. Uh-huh. You understand? With shiny with shiny boots. Mm-hmm. I mean, with the boots way, I've been rocking bronze since since Brio. You understand? I've been that guy. Wait, wait. You understand? High school. And we didn't have carry cans. Turn the normal, you see, they see the normal jersey, mm-hmm. turn it into a carry can. It looked fly. That was me. I was that type of guy. As much as the the principal used to a hey, whoop my ass a lot because of the, that was in the school uniform. But I like I I like cause I like the attention that I got when people saw it. Like yo, this looks fly. Why why can't you have that as uniform? Mm. You understand? Cause it's more hip. It's more cool. I was that guy, and I wasn't trying. Mm-hmm. Sheesh. Hey, this guy asked this guy to get off the to get off his phone because it's the second time now. Yeah, it's really the uh, second time. Bro. In the background, they let's let's take that off. Let's do some administration. These are my DMs podcast, right? So yeah. if I ask you anything too wild, we pin it on the director there right there. I'm just the the messenger. But nah, let's don't, go. Don't, don't worry, I'm strapped up. He, he's going You're ready. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're ready. Let's yeah, yeah. go. First question. Yeah. Have you ever thought of why the South African number plate, the police number plate, starts with a B? Didn't even know that, bro. On to I the next. One. I don't even. I don't even care at this point. Like <laughs> I seriously don't care. 
I died. As long as I have cold drink, uh-huh. it's cool. It's <laughs> about uh, you understand. As long as I have the head, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> okay. Second one. Um, are artists actually happy once you give them a follow back? Uh, like upcoming Up- artists com- or yeah. big, big artists? Upcoming artists. Well, for me, I just follow anybody that does something that I like. Mm-hmm. I don't care whether you're big or small. It doesn't matter to me. If, if it appeals to me, I follow. Well, let's go. Next one. Uh, when last did you use public transport? Uh, hey, that's funny. I actually used it when it was locked down. It was <laughs> locked down, Papa. Yeah. And it was tricky. I wanted to go to Durban and had no car. Like around my team, there's nobody who, like nobody yeah. had a car. Mm-hmm. So the only transport that you didn't have to have a permit to go is like the bus, Papa. I say, yeah, mm-hmm. you know what? I let's hop on a bus. Yes, said uh, mask, very the bus <laughs> on another level. <laughs> said cap, said hoodie on top of. No one can see this is yeah. all real. Chilling like this. Uh, and it's so hard. And you got home. That's what uh, matters. We were going to record, Papa. Mm-hmm. We were going to make more music. So on that trip, no one noticed you were Obi. Nobody noticed, Papa. Ah, good disguise, they, good disguise. And guess what? We traveled that night. You know, mm. when you travel by bus at night, you arrive in the morning. Six and the whole nine, trip, Papa, yeah. and yeah. the dog. Because it's yeah, at yeah. night. Mm. The only person who's, uh, who's out here, Upegi Lenje, is, is only the driver. Yeah, and yeah. the guys who want to smoke cigarettes you, every time. You understand, you're like, yeah. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> okay, you, next one. May, may, may yeah. like... Uh, Aubrey, when you used to take taxis in town, have you, are you, do you used to sit in front of the taxi? No. Why you never sit in front? Taxi mates, Baba. No, no, it's not even that. It is, I, I never see our Abona. It doesn't matter. I never sit in the middle, especially if it's, uh, if it's those old taxis. Yeah, Super 60. You never sit on the engine. Yeah, well, you see the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, talk. Come That's on. not the level, ah, bro. This guy, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting shit. Yeah, he's not gonna pay me for this. Mm-hmm. You understand? But uh, when I was young, I used to, cause I had no, I had no choice. Cause especially if you vying with the, like going to going to school. And it takes any cocktail and jalong in young Galena. And if there's no space, the only space that's available is that one. You gonna hop on that uh-huh. one? You understand? It's just that with that, you didn't have to do this, cause you already, you just paid. You just pay at the end of the month. You understand, but I really hated this thing. Me, I'm more of a backseat me. Just stay posted up. You understand. The Rosa Parks, right? Yeah, you understand. There's a super actually <laughs> move. Okay, the next one, my DMs questions. In your opinion, which artists would you would you vote for if they were running for the music industry presidency? And also tell us why. Which artists would you vote for if they had to run for the music uh, industry presidency? <sighs> tricky tricky because no, me as a, as a musician because i'm also a businessman mm-hmm. i'm not gonna look at it as only the music because if you look at it as music you're gonna be more biased because you're gonna go for the topic who talks about what who talks about what but in terms of how to run a business i'll go for Zex. Zex Bandin. Z- Zex was a person been, i also had in mind yeah, and, well. this, and he he speaks for artists Zex. Mm-hmm. And like an activist, yeah. Yeah, he's that guy. He's always been that guy. Because you know it from when he's still pushing his company, Mayo, Mayoni Production. Mm-hmm. You understand? He was, you understand? Mm-hmm. And it still came back with a young crowd with to play coffee when he mm-hmm. was, I felt like dancing. And then now he said, Kwa Osama. <laughs> and then next thing, say, Kwa 2023. Great. Anyway. <laughs> That's the perfect guy to go for. Because yeah, yeah. he raps. He's the blueprint. South African music. He's mm-hmm. always been Sauta, 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 this Sauta. Zex for presidency. Ah, there you have it. The whole time. <laughs> what are the top three SA hip hop songs that you won't mind having to repeat in the car? In the car? Mm-hmm. Yo, there's one song that I, I like because of one verse. Mm-hmm. You understand? And that song is that, is that, is that, uh, is, it's, isn't, is it Shibiliga? Shibiliga, Lord Script. Yeah. Lord yeah, Script. I know script. And I like the remix because oh, oh. the nasty C verse, ne? Nah, I wanna hear that verse. I was like, Shh. Uh-huh. that's the thing that made, that's the that's the verse that made me say, 
let me cook the room. It's because I had the original because mm. Lost Script is my guy. I was like, hi, let me mm. support the brother. I, but when I heard the remix and then Nels just said, Pwah, with that Chinese, I was like, shoo. This boy's out of here. It's too much. This boy's out of here. That song, Yon and I repeated on a daily. Number one, have that out the way. Number two and three, other songs. Mm-hmm. Don't listen to hip hop. At all. What? If I listen to hip hop, I think I'd go for what? I, I think I just have Young Thug on my phone. I have Young yes. Thug and Lil Wayne. That's not I say hip hop. Let's move on yeah. to the next that's one. That's what I'm saying. It's like, that's it. And <laughs> oh, what? E Alpha, my Gaga KO. That's the only things that I have. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I mean, like, wanted to ask something. Yeah. If you have to lend out your house to these two artists, who would you lend to? I w- if I was Sa- a landlord, yeah, Saudi and up. then and then Saudi p- and and yeah. up, and was like, yo, I wanna rent your place, and yeah. Was, but there's only no space for one. I, I, as much as do you know that I'm a big, I, I'm a big, big Saudi Saudi fan. No, I thought it's Java, yeah. I I I knew you were gonna think that I'm a mm. big Saudi fan. Drugs Inc. That was my album when that when that yeah, when that album. Yeah, 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 that's that my, was that's my, my shit that as was well. My, yeah. So it's Java gets the bender. I Shaba gets the house, but Shaba is the is the, is the, is the guy. Your parents. Ah, uh, my guy. Saudi's gonna trap hard. <laughs> Saudi's gonna trap hard. <laughs> He's gonna find there by the sofa. His <laughs> name Bob. Actually, look why. Yeah, what? Uh-huh. Actually, is zest. So, uh, Saudi is a, is a trapper dog. You, uh-huh. you, but but you, why won't you give Shaba the house? I'd give Shaba the Shaba house because yeah. he's more responsible. Because he's he, not even he's more responsible. Is he likes his. Space, he, like, like he's not a I'm, trap star. He, you understand? Saudi is a rock star, my guy. Mm-hmm. Saudi is a rock star. Girls on girls, traffic next thing. I'm uh, from the what's it, part of co- what body corporate. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be getting calls. Like, say your tenants mm-hmm. are making noise. Are mm-hmm. uh, saying what with the weed? Are uh, saying what yeah, what? Yeah. And then now, hey, it's gonna be tricky. And then uh, you understand? So okay. I need to give it to the. Cause also if you are if you are a landlord, Papa, you you gonna try to go for the most a uh, person that you think is more responsible. Yeah, that's not to say Saudi is not yeah. responsible, but Saudi is a, a rock star, Papa. You know, you know, rock star life is yeah, too yeah. much. I I I know. Trust me, me I know. I used rock. To be, me I used to be troublesome, Papa. You mm-hmm. don't troublesome. N- not anymore. Are you in a relationship? Eh? Yeah, you, I'm in a relationship. G. What names do your partner call you? Eh? What names do your partner call you? Hey, Papa, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's for in the room, I guess. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, hey, hey, baby. That's the, hey, mama, come on. That's, that's, it's, it's confidential, guys. You understand? That's the, that's yeah. the, you understand? Yeah. yeah, but but she calls me by my second name most of the time. Uh, okay, on, on, on the same conversation, what phone do you think your ex look like? What phone do you think your ex look like? iPhone X, whatever. Yeah. I think iPhone 12. Okay. No, no, and then my, my, my current hand is like iPhone 18, the future. <laughs> the future. <laughs> the <laughs> you understand. The one that's still coming up. You understand. <laughs> yes, sir. So, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, ish, man. Um, like I said, this is like... Um, first time we're shooting this year yeah. uh well me shooting this year and uh, we started on uh, off on a bad note it's a very melancholy mm. day in south africa as we speak we lost one of our african giants when it comes to south african hip-hop yeah. uh aka uh, and i believe you were part of fit season as well me? So on, yeah management when you part of fit season at some no, point was part of t effect same management, yeah. Oh, same management with yeah. Musa and yeah, Costa yeah, yeah, yeah. and everyone else. So yeah, I just want to 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 find out from you how was like your encounter with AKA? Um, just I only as met a him person. once, or oh, twice. Yeah, twice. Mm-hmm. Twice. I think we were doing this thing uh, uh, when he was still doing those orchestras in Durban. Mm-hmm. That's the first time I met him, and that was the last time. Were you an artist around that time already? Or? Yeah, I was. I was. I was, I was there. To perform, to perform for the as orchestra, home. yes. Oh, that's great. That's in the great. one in Durban, yes. So, in terms of musical influence, is he up there as one of the greats for you? Mine, you no. Mine. Ah, uh, come on, guys. I can't lie just because the bro is no more. No. No, we're not saying lying, but we just no, ask because generally, I, f- mm-hmm. I just think, I just think he was, he was, he was the, guy, he was the, a go-to guy, especially for 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 rappers. But for me, a go-to guy for me is Java. 
Mm. It's two different things. You understand? As much as I'm influenced by hip hop, again, I wasn't influ- I wasn't influenced by South African hip hop. Mm-hmm. Yes, as much as if even, even if you must you were to say I must drop bars, I drop bars in Zulu. Mm. But again, I draw my influence from like most Java. You understand? So from those two encounters where you guys like he's cool a, he's a cool he was a cool gent mm-hmm. I'll, I'll tell you this he was more bubbly he was a cool gent mm-hmm. and he was a superstar he was super mega he was super mega you feel <laughs> super mega you like yeah I thought <laughs> I have I to make star. space I, you like, you, I thought <laughs> I, I was just a just make star. space for him in the I understand room. when he's not there and then mm-hmm. you like people yeah, they catch me up like yeah but when he's there like the super mega this, this is how this is how niggas feel right <laughs> yeah, so yeah this was that type of situation but yeah. Yeah, then, like, I, openly, like on the same conversation uh mm. what space do you think aka left in the music industry a big one dog because you remember this guy is he was sitting on number one number two on radio monitor what when uh what two weeks ago mm-hmm. you understand he, he came back with the with the banger mm-hmm. you understand so it's one of those guys, one of those artists you can never count out. Mm-hmm. He's, he was literally one of those guys you can never say, ah, he's done. Because he only, and he had more hits, more than most artists. I'd say he had most hits, number one records, than any other. All the rappers. I'm not scared to say that, than all the rappers. In I agree of, with you. I in agree in terms you. of number one hits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He, oh, come on, guys. But I remember he came with the cheese cop. He was still <laughs> rocking. You understand? The victory lap way. You yeah. understand? He was he was that guy who was like, who's this guy? We thought he was like a young Drake, trying to be, but he just showed us. He was like, nah, I'm not that. I'm this guy. So yeah, I think the only person that can come close to hits as much as AK is probably MT. But everyone else, he's off clear. He's off clear. Just back to back hits. 